Hi, I'm Mike Svob, and what I want to talk to you about today are the basic rules or guidelines for landscape painting. We say rules, we say guidelines. This is a way to make your paintings, if you're painting landscapes, appear like they have more depth. So these are just some of the simple things. But if you follow these, it'll give your paintings a greater sense of depth and it'll help you deal with problems you run into when you're painting. So the simplest one, the most obvious one, is things in the foreground are bigger than things are in the distance. So it also reads as overlapping shapes. So the trees are in front of the mountains. As soon as you put the mountains in front of the trees, they don't look like mountains anymore. They look like rocks. So remember, you know, the basic rule of overlapping shapes, bigger in the foreground, smaller in the distance. So if you want it to look like a tree in the distance, it has to be small. It's, if it's in the foreground, it's big, things like that, overlapping shapes. The second one I'm going to talk about is the idea of color. So in the distance, you see less color and you see bluer colors. So as you go back in a landscape, now this isn't always true when you're actually there because when you're looking at a sunset, it's really bright, it's far away and all that kind of thing and it's warm. But in general, in landscape painting, the further away, the bluer, the cooler it is. And as you come forward, the opposite applies. So save your hot colors, your hot reds, your hot oranges, your hot yellows for things in the foreground, okay? So warmer in the foreground, cooler in the distance, right? The next thing are the edges or detail in the painting. Now I'm saying edges or detail because what happens is a hard edge in a painting appears as detail and it brings it forward. A soft edge appears as if it's further away. So if you want things in the painting to look further away, you give them soft edges. If they're mountains, if they're trees, whatever it is. So it can be with a lot of distance in a painting or it can be a little bit. If you want the people in the foreground to look closer, all you have to do is put hard edges on them and put the people in the distance a little fuzzier that makes them appear closer. The other way to think of that is texture. In the foreground you have texture or more bits of detail in the distance you have less detail, okay? Or things tend to soften out. So soften, harder, detail, less detail, okay? So that's color, that's detail, that's shapes. And what's the last one? Oh, probably perspective. So if you're gonna use perspective, right? Remember perspective lines, vanishing points, things like that. So as things get further away, you get a sense of getting smaller. If you do a river going this way, it's not gonna look like a river because that's not what happens. So you have to be careful about that. The other thing about perspective is as you get into the distance, things sit flat. They don't sit on angles. The water doesn't go like this in the distant shore. It's always flat. The rock sits in the water flat. The landscape sits flat. So that's perspective again, and that's drawing. So if you do those things in kind of that way, your paintings will have a better sense of depth, they'll have a better sense of landscape, and your paintings will be more believable, if you want to put it that way. And if you want to have them less believable, you ignore those rules. You can flatten out the landscape. You can do different things to make it more interesting or more, I don't know, dynamic, if you want to call it. So, but the trick is to be aware of how it works and to use those things to make your painting the way you want it to be. I hope you found this information useful. Now, I have a handout called How to Fix Your Painting, and you can get it by clicking on the link below. Thank you for watching.